It is Marathon Sunday. The New York City Marathon is back after being canceled last year by the pandemic. More than 33,000 people are taking part in the 50th running of this iconic event. CBS News' Natalie Dedridge is live near the starting line at Fort Wadsworth on Staten Island with more. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, Cindy. Yes, organizers say today is a big deal for so many reasons. Half a century of running history is being celebrated. And as you mentioned, yes, the race is back on after being canceled last year. And $45 million has been raised for charity. Now, we are standing near the start line. And many of these runners, participants, they're just starting to trickle in now. You can see them lounging, stretching, trying to keep warm, trying to keep their nerves at bay. Now, soon, we will see 30 33,000 people here getting ready to race 26.2 miles through all five boroughs. We're still doing it and we still look reasonably healthy. 81 year old Gary Murky posed for photos with fans. He was the first ever winner of the inaugural New York City Marathon a half century ago with a finish time of two hours, 31 minutes, and 39 seconds. Yes, our goal now inspires some younger people. That he has. Chrissy Michael is feeling overjoyed to be able to run again after the marathon was canceled last year. Just on the verge of happy tears. So excited that we get to do this again. Um, so thankful that my body's able to do it again. The marathon has only been canceled twice in its history, once because of Superstorm Sandy and last year because of COVID. We are so excited to bring this event back to the streets of New York um, after not being here last year and through everything that everyone's been through over the last couple of years. The unfathomable loss of life is the motivation for so many runners like Vincent Sabrino, who flew in from Portugal and quarantined for 14 days to be able to take part. His friend helped him translate. So it's mean a lot for him because, you know, he's lost a couple of friends on during the COVID situation and just come back over here from New York and be able to run again. It's mean a lot for him. You know? 140 countries are represented today. Of the countless inspiring stories, some are happening behind the scenes. Ted Menelis is making history as the marathon's first black race director. A true, true honor. I mean, I'm Bronx native. Parents that are immigrants immigrated here from Haiti. I worked really hard to get to where I'm at right now, but I love what I do. I love who I do it for. Last night, the Empire State Building shone brightly blue and gold to honor the 50th edition. Now, so much planning goes into this, including security. There are thousands of police officers lined up along the route to make sure everyone is safe. And then also all of the street closures and all the service changes. Make sure you check before you head out of there. And uh, the Verrazano Bridge also is going to be closed between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. We're going to be here at the start line cheering everyone on. Live in Force Wadworth, Staten Island, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you.